Welcome back to another video. This is a pen video. This has been a streak of pen videos that I've been recording today, so you will see me all in the same gear. Um, so today we are going to be playing with some pens. I have two pens here. I have done a mailbox goodies video on them already. These are the Sailor Pro Gear Slim or the Sailor Sapporos. They are from Pen House in Japan. They are Japan exclusive, so I had to use a forwarding service to get these. I used White Rabbit Express. You can check out my video on that to find out more about the pens. But what I wanted to show you was blah, 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 enough chit chat for my beak. Now, they both had Zoom nibs, but I had a buddy of mine, fellow Nibmeister, wait, no, wait, fellow Canadian, a Nibmeister uh, of the Toronto Pen Company. I had him grind one of the nibs into an architect. So what's really interesting is I have a Zoom nib and a Zoom nib that has become an architect. And I thought maybe you would like to see a writing sample of both of these. So you can consider, do I want a Zoom nib or do I want a Zoom nib that I can grind into an architect? So let's do that. I absolutely love these pens. I think they're glorious, beautiful, just right up my alley. And I love the nibs, so they are just kind of perfect for me. So enough of this chit chat. Let's tilt the camera down and take a look at these beauties. Hello everyone. Welcome to the video where I do writing with nibs. So that was extremely descriptive, wasn't it? This is the Zoom nib. It has not been modified. This is the smaller version. It's the 14 karat size Sailor nib. And we have the Architect. This was ground by Salmon of the Toronto Pen Company. You can see that it's got like a, like a shovely wedge type shape. And this is an Architect. Now, it still is wet, easily. Um, now, the idea with the zoom is, first of all, it has a blob of tipping. This is the zoom here, and this is the architect here. So it's got a blob of tipping, it gives you a nice broad wet line, and if we write high up, you get finer lines, and the lower you go, the uh, wider your lines become. Now, with an architect, you get the opposite of a stub, which is, with a stub, you get, um, sorry, what's, what, I'm trying to, my words, my brain is not working. With a stub, you get wide downstrokes and thinner cross strokes, like a stub, an italic, etc. But with an architect, you get like just like a line, depending on the width of your architect grind, you get a line, a smaller, a thinner line, but that's on the downstroke and on the side stroke, you get a nice thick line. So you can see the difference between the two. So if you're to compare that to a zoom, the zoom is not as pronounced depending on your angle, of course, because if I do like this, you see more of a difference. But with the architect that I have selected, it's a bit more sharp, like the, the variation is a little more crisp and distinct. And to be honest, like I think it's absolutely lovely. You could ask your Nibmeister to make it smoother for you if you prefer a smooth writing experience, or you could have a crisper grind. Can you use this for daily writing? Absolutely you can. Um, if you have really tiny handwriting, maybe not, but I use this for daily use all the time and I have no issues with it. So there you go. I mean, I hope this has been kind of useful, like that you can just get an idea of the difference between the Zoom and the Architect. So again, the pink is the Architect, the blue is the Zoom. You can see in the blue that it's rounder and smoother and then with the Architect, it's a little more crisp and distinct.
So there you go. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pants. So, hopefully this was useful. Let me know, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye!